first alert forecast right on track. The winds increased in our higher elevations while you were sleeping and then we'll work on filling in better in the valley late morning to midday. Notice then those gusts start picking up. That helps to knock around that heating there a bit for sure. Gusts closer to 30 miles per hour in our higher elevations. A wind advisory in the Smokies for gusts up to 40 miles per hour. And those gusts closer to 20 miles per hour throughout the valley to far northeast Tennessee. And then notice in the evening we still have a breezy evening. At least they back off a bit, but we'll get into that 15 to 20 mile per hour range for much of the evening hours. So those Halloween decorations still need to be secure. Any accessories that might blow off with a sudden gust of wind definitely want to be tied down as well as we go through your evening hours. Winds do stir up a little bit better tonight, and that's as rain is getting closer to our area. So to kick off your Thursday, to kick off what is this still a school and work day for many, it is a warmer morning, right around 59 degrees in Knoxville with sunrise just ahead of 8 o'clock. Now those clouds again are rolling around this morning, but we'll still see more of a mostly cloudy morning to partly cloudy afternoon, and then the clouds will start to move back in this evening into the overnight. Notice rain starts to clip the plateau. Now there's going to be a little bit of a balancing act where those winds are acting like a drying effect, so some of these showers try to reach the plateau and dry out. So you could easily get a couple of light showers in parts of Cumberland, Fentress to Wayne County, so that's actually 6.30 Central time and then that continues to push east. So notice it's falling apart there. That's where it's literally drying out. So we have a couple of showers clipping our area to start the night and then it's got to take its time. It's got to get that humidity up. The winds are still stirring around and then more rain will head in. So it'll actually become scattered middle of the night, early Friday morning. So I'll already be tracking some rain to kick off your Friday early morning and then more will be on the way. So for your Thursday planner, again, it's that mix of clouds at times this morning. 59 degrees to start. We're going to be looking partly cloudy throughout the day. 74 at noon, getting those gusts out of the southwest around 20 miles per hour and your high today 78. So we have that warm afternoon and evening or trick or treat forecast on this. Halloween is still breezy, still low 70s at 7 PM and then the clouds to some more scattered rain really presses in, goes to that 60% coverage still for Friday morning. So that first alert forecast definitely holding steady. I'd say we're really just kind of holding it a little bit to midday and then it becomes cloudy and spotty, which is also why the temperatures don't bounce back much. So we're looking to be around 64 in the morning, which is still warm, but about a five degree difference to the afternoon at 69 degrees. Southwesterly wind still gusting to around 15 miles per hour for your Friday. So here's a look at that timing. Again, that scattered rain here in the morning spreads out actually a bit better between seven and eight on and off rain light to moderate still that broken line. So that's why you see these gaps where some are seeing rain on one side of the town and the others are saying what rain at that moment. It will keep it scattered throughout the valley to foothills midday. Notice up into the mountains far northeast Tennessee one to two but three to four it's clouds. And again, a couple of showers could pop up as we go into the evening hours, but most of that rain is first thing in the day. So in terms of that rainfall potential where you live, you can see where that comes into our area and breaks up. So we're still in that tenth to a quarter of an inch range throughout the south to central valley. Then you get into that quarter to isolate it half an inch as it enters the plateau and moves east and then breaks up a bit. So that's why there's some big differences from even one side of town to the other back to that tenth to a quarter of an inch range right at the Tennessee Kentucky line and then a few spots will actually be closer to a few hundredths in far northeast Tennessee simply because that is breaking up as it moves east but it does leave us with clouds and a couple of light sprinkly showers first thing Saturday morning then more sun Saturday afternoon with stray rain still trying to develop in our higher elevation Saturday afternoon and evening so I want to stress that because it is time for your I'm all vol forecast again. The afternoon's warm and partly cloudy in Knoxville at 76. So we're going into the evening hours warm. That means your 745 game, your I'm all vol forecast presented by Food City is cooling well through the 60s, upper 60s at the start of that late game, still low 60s by the end. So the warmth definitely returns after this cold front from the rain to the bounce back. The humidity is still up, so the mornings stay warm. The afternoons keep turning right back up to mid to upper 70s. We are keeping an eye out for another front mid next week. It actually looks like some showers Wednesday night into early Thursday right now in your first alert eight day planner.